Good morning. Folks, we've got space weather as a coronal whole solar wind stream hit our planet last night and caused a geomagnetic storm. Earth facing quiet back on the sun continues dominating even with the planets aligning and a sun diving comet tearing through the corona and interplanetary magnetic fields. Sky broke up a few hours ago. We've got a killer earthquake that took out most of a town in Italy. Southern Asia will be going on watch soon. We've got killer hail from China and a Florida hurricane warning. I hope you're awake and watching closely. Starting with spaceweathernews.com, last day on the sun provided little excitement but for the coronal hole and plasma filament incoming from the left. They began to be geo-effective threats tonight. The earth facing quiet has shut down and begun to decay the new sunspot grouping with a few stragglers on the disk there. Bit more excitement in the solar wind, however, as that shock wave and speedy stream impacted earth last night, sending particle speed to nearly 700 kilometers per second and taking plasma temperature from around 200,000 K to nearly a million. Luckily, the storm in Earth's magnetism was low level only and is waning. Top story of the day is a tragedy in Italy. A magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck the region about eight hours ago, taking out buildings, leaving half a town completely gone, and killing at least 21 people, but that number is expected to rise. Now, while it's a day early for the coronal hole influence, Kongpap Uyen's three-day sunspot peak watch came into relevance yesterday, and that too is tracked at the Disaster Prediction app. Not to mention that website members likely remember the August planetary geometry, which indicated how the planet should become active here at the end of the month. The coronal hole on the left there isn't supposed to start making earthquakes for another 12 to 24 hours or so, but when it faces Earth, the top alert should shift to southern Asia. A combination of aftershock and energetic anomalies in the region is complementing a six-pointer that struck yesterday, along with an uptick in volcanic activity for the region, probably going to focus here and slightly to the west. North of that, China had egg-sized hail leave people without homes, cars, or livestock. Many lost everything in the hailstorm that lasted just seven seconds. We're not done as Florida and the islands to the southeast need to be on alert now with two systems churning away in the Atlantic and while the stronger one is heading into nowhere, the leader at spot is looking like it's going to make direct landfall at southern Florida this weekend. Get a prep or two in place now as nearly all forecasts suggest a bloated Azores high in the Atlantic is going to push that storm west rather than north up the east coast. Big low in the northern United States, rain wraps around it and down the convergence line tonight. There will be no secrets here. The Earth spots head for New Zealand with a small convergence tail back towards Queensland. Hopefully one day I'll say the deluge is over and things are all safe in southern Asia, but that is not today. Icelandic Earth spot not moving too much and indeed the bigger weather watches for eastern Mediterranean storms. Lastly, on the weather front, the systems near South America are confined there in effect due to a massive high pressure barrier at a more mid-latitude. We're going to end with shots of our star to close, but let's announce that those Kickstarter shirts and hoodies are heading out to the Disaster App supporters. Share your photos with us when you get them. Also folks, by the middle of September, the topics and schedule for observing the frontier will be coming together and getting finalized. The place to be for observers in early April is Albuquerque, New Mexico, round three of the conference series. It's 3.55 a.m. in the New Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.